Ma'am, I am a representative of the NHSF. You have not made an appointment within the last three months. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to make an appointment, but I've gotten a little sidetracked with my spouse's recent death. Oh, that's perfectly understandable. Would you mind if I come in? Oh, yeah, sure, come in. Oh, you don't mind if my friend comes in too. Yeah, of course. some coffee or anything? Or... No, thank you. Yeah. Would you mind if I have a seat? Go ahead. Thank you. Now, as you may remember, we're with the NHSF, the National Health Service Force. We're simply going to ask you a few questions, and your your healthcare number is LUH three four one seven. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That is correct. Okay. And your last interview was in July, correct? Yes, sir. July the fifteenth. Okay. Now you said your spouse died when? August fourth. August 4th. Now, is your spouse male or female? Male. Okay. Healthcare number? Um, TYK5148. Okay. okay. Spouse's occupation? He was a Walmart greeter. Okay. Now, what do you do as a living? I sell real estate. Okay. Now, in the last three months, have you suffered any illnesses? No, nothing so far. What about your son? Well, he had a bit of a cold. His health number is JPS 6942. Yes, sir. Now, how long has he had this cold? About four days. Now, during this time of illness, did he attend to any public areas? Well, he did go to school on the first day, but the nurse sent him home about halfway through. It says here your son attends a private Catholic school. Correct. Yes, sir. Um, St. Paul's Elementary. Now, have you taken your son to a pediatrician or any other medical service? 
No, he's just been in his room for the last three days. Um, he'll probably go back to school in about a day or two. Okay, now, ma'am. You are in direct violation of the National Health Care Service Act. How's that? Well, first off, ma'am, the law clearly states that anyone who fails to make an appointment within 31 days of their last interview will be fined $500. Second, anyone subject to illness must report to a professional medical examiner within three days, and your son has been sick for four days, as you say. But it's just a cold. He's not biologically hazardous. He's not going to cause a zombie apocalypse if it spreads. Ma'am, please calm down. <sighs> What's this? Citation notice. 3,000 credits? Yes, ma'am. For failure to make an appointment within 31 days, for not notifying a professional medical examiner, and for threatening a government agent. Threatening? How did I threaten you? I don't need to argue with you. I'm not arguing. I'm asking a simple question. How did I threaten you? Ma'am, this is your final warning. You know what? Fine. I'll pay for not making an appointment, and I'll pay for not calling a doctor, but I am not going to pay for threatening an offer, sir. Because that is just... <laughs> oh. Yes. Ma'am, I noticed your fridge is empty. It's not a healthy living environment to raise a child. The government believes no child should have to starve. The government also finds you to be an unfit mother to raise your child. Your child will only place you in the custody of Carl's Jr. You, on the other hand, will be put into a mental stability center and will appear before a court on November the 4th. Your son will be transferred out of his private school and will be placed into a public school. You can't do that. I guess we can. We'll see. We're at the government.